Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and staying positive out there. I wanted to respond to several emails that I have been receiving from parents with children on a severe end of the spectrum as Nikki is, um, having a hard time explaining to their children what is happening now and why we are being isolated. They don't know how to explain the circumstances to their children. Um, and asking me how it is that I'm going about explaining it to Nikki. Um, I will tell you this, moms, I am in the same boat as you right now. Nikki doesn't understand what's happening. He understands what it means to be sick. He just doesn't understand what it means to stay away from one another and not spread germs. Uh, he's missing school. He misses my parents. He doesn't understand why we're not going places that we would normally go and why we're just staying in the house. Um, doing my best to keep him calm, uh, feeling loved and secure as I would at any other time, but especially now. And one thing that I have never done is focus on what my son does not know. I focus on what Nikki does know. What he does know is that mommy is here no matter what is going on in our lives. Anything that's going on around us, he can always depend on me to have his back. So I'm making sure that although he feels confused and he has those emotions, that he could look to me for reassurance and love and know that even though he feels that way, and he doesn't 100% understand why, then I'm here. So he has that calm, focused, loving person in front of him to let him know that everything will be okay, even though things are a little different and we have a little uh, difference in our normal routine right now, um, it's still going to be okay because mommy says that it is and he trusts me. So, um, you know, that's a real staple for our relationship with our children and the things that we instill in them from when they're little and the positivity that we speak into their spirits. It's important for them to know um, that we will always speak that positivity into them no matter what's happening in the world because none of us expected any of this and there are going to be things to come in life that we don't expect but our children need to know that we're here and maybe we don't have all the answers and we may never have all the answers for them but they know that they have that security that their mother is there so if you want to teach your children anything right now and explain anything to them I would get that point across to them more so than what a coronavirus is. Just let them know mommy's here and it's okay. It's going to be okay. And it's easy for me, uh, maybe I shouldn't say easy, but um, I can say that to him because I do believe that inside myself. So it's a little easier for me to give him that emotion. I do believe everything is going to be okay. Um, I think we just need to be patient and be safe and I am taking the time to spend quality time with my son while he is home. It's a time that I wouldn't have had with him otherwise and I keep telling him that this is Nikki and Mommy's special time together right now. Um, <clears throat> we will go and see my parents and go places that we normally do at a later time but right now Nikki and Mommy are spending quality, special time together, and Mommy loves that. I love spending time with him. I love him, and I make sure that he feels my joy for being with him every single day. And um, I do think that it's helping him to stay calm, um, doing the best that I can not to trigger any tantrums from him. I don't push him too hard to do things that he doesn't seem as though he wants to do to add to his stress and confusion. Um, although, you know, I do strongly suggest doing things together and activities to keep him active and to keep his mind active, but um, I don't force anything or push too hard because I, I just don't want to trigger 
that anxiety out of him right now. Um, I'm trying to be empathetic to his feelings of confusion. So um, I would suggest social stories and uh, books for children on the spectrum who do have a level of better comprehension out there. Um, the social stories can be very helpful. So, uh, you know, as we're all home, homeschooling our children, I would add those in to your routine if, um, you know, your children, children are on a higher level. Um, Nikki doesn't have any understanding of that right now. So this is what I'm focusing on. I hope this is helpful to you. If there's anything else that I can do uh, to help you, or if you need my opinion on anything, please keep reaching out. I'm doing my best to respond to all of you, and um, I will continue making videos for you guys as needed. So please stay safe and stay positive. We're all going to get through this, and we're all going to be okay. Okay? Have a blessed, safe weekend.